Okay, so did you know that the height of Eiffel Tower is 980 feet in winter, but 980.5 feet in summer? So why these 6 inches difference in height? And if Eiffel Tower expand in summer and contract in winter, then do mountains expand in summer as well and are bigger? Are roads wider in hot weather? Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and in this video, we will be answering all the asked questions. So basically, it's not about Eiffel Tower. It's about all matters like gas, liquid, and then solids. Remember, all matters expand when heated and contract when cooled. And that is because when you heat a material, the material absorbs this heat which converts to their kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of that material increases and its atoms and molecules move. Due to this moment or vibration, you can say, the intermolecular forces between particles break and then the particles occupy more space to vibrate resulting in, you can say, volumetric expansion. That's so simple, okay? And similarly, in cold weather, the kinetic energy decreases and atoms take up less space due to which the material will contract. Let's just focus on this practical demonstration. This apparatus is called the ring and ball apparatus. So as you can see, when the ball is heated, it's not passing through the ring because the volume of ball increases when heated and that is called volumetric expansion. But when the ball is cooled, then it passes through the ring. Pretty awesome, right? And that is because the ball's volume decreases after cooling it out. Now while answering to questions like are roads wider in summer and mountains bigger, let's focus on global warming. You must be familiar with global warming which is affecting many things in places around the world. Like it's accelerating the melting of ice glaciers and sheets resulting in rising the sea level or you can say the level of ocean. It's changing precipitation and weather due to which it's making you can say some places wetter and at the same time some places you can say drier and many more changes but my point is if just a small percentage increase in temperature can have that much effects then imagine the expansion of roads and mountains in places where temperature is increased by 5 to 50 degrees centigrade of course these both will have volumetric expansion, which means roads are wider and mountains are bigger in summer because these things are made of particles and expand. However, if you consider expansion of mountains, that can be ignored. And I don't think so if anybody have measured that yet. But if you consider roads or highways, or maybe other structures, we do provide expansion joints to overcome expansion and contraction due to temperature change. So shortly, every matter expand when heated and contract when cooled does not matter if it's Eiffel Tower, highways or mountains. Thank you guys for watching.